We're now hearing from the mother of Enrique Terrio. Just days after the former Proud Boys leader was sentenced for his role in the January 6th Capitol riot. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live in Miami Lakes with why she says justice failed her. Cody. And Calvin and Nicole, this mother not showing a hint of contrition or shame about her son's actions. Actually, quite to the con contrary, she lashed out at the federal government. She called this whole case against her son a witch hunt. I'm still very proud of who he is. A mother standing by her son. I think he's a self-educated person. And I think he's good for our community in the long run. Zuni Duarte, the mother of Enrique Tarrio, the former leader of the Proud Boys. A judge sentenced Tarrio on Tuesday to 22 years in prison for his role in the January 6th riots. 22 years is a lot of time for a, a man that's a patriot to his country and that believes in his country and believes in our rights. Duarte denying that her son sympathizes with white supremacists. I condemn white supremacist groups. Echoing what Tarrio told Local 10 in a 2020 interview. The Proud Boys, I don't think, have ever terrorized. By the contrary, I think they're, they were there to, to help some people and in a lot of instances. She also denies that her son played a major role in organizing the riots. Federal prosecutors had used text messages to and from Tario to argue he played a major intellectual role in orchestrating the attacks. That's even though he was not in D.C. at the time after a judge banned him from entering the district after being arrested for another crime. A group of guys just talking text messages and just saying things that they felt, but they never even dreamed of something like this happening. Duarte calling her son a political pawn, the prosecution against him, a witch hunt. Giving him 22 years and putting, you know, everything out there shuts a lot of people up. And we cannot continue to let the government shut us up. And when asked whether her son remains a member of the Proud Boys, Duarte responded that no, he does not. She was also asked how she feels about recent comments by Governor Ron DeSantis suggesting that if he were to win the presidency, he would consider pardoning people like Tario. She said those comments give her hope. We are live tonight in Miami Lakes. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.